welcome to an episode of Make It Yum. I'm Sadhana and my intention is to inspire you, to enable you, to maybe even guide you to make some yummy, nutritious, wholesome food without any recipes. Hi, welcome to another episode of Make It Yum. It is summer here in San Francisco and we are continuing our how-to series with a little show for you today on guac, guacamole. What's a more summery than a big bowl of avocados and some chips to dip it in? So we're going to do it three ways. One with Greek yogurt, controversial. I've never tried it, but Anthony from Queer Eye has it in his recipe, so we'll give it a try. Uh, Number two, we're going to try it with some nutritional yeast and cumin and coriander. And then for our third one, we're going to use dried red chili peppers because it's common to have green chilies, little ones in your guac, but I don't have that at home, but I have the dried red chilies. So I'm hoping it'll add a nice little heat kick punch on the palate when you're having your guac. And of course, we'll make a normal one, not offensive for all um, to start off with and go from there. So to start off with my take on straight up guacamole won't hurt anybody's feelings. We start with the avocado. So I'm going to cut this up and mash it up. Then I'm going to add some onion, probably about half, finely chopped for a little bit of crunch, some heat. Then we add some tomatoes. I'm going to dice them up and throw them in there. A bell pepper. I think this is kind of on like the cusp of like needs to go in, doesn't need to go in. Um, I think it'll add a little bit of brightness and crunch, so I'm going to throw it into my um, guacamole, and nobody says they don't like bell peppers, like that's just not a thing, so throw it in there, a lime, easy, Uh, some garlic for taste, Um, and I'm going to say cilantro is a must in guacamole slash in everything, it is such a great herb that just adds an earthiness, a great taste, great flavor. Um, A lot of people can kind of complain about cilantro. I know there's that gene where on your tongue it tastes like soap. If that's the case, fine. You can omit cilantro, add parsley, something else instead. Um, But otherwise, you have no excuse and you should be adding this stuff into your guac and to everything else. So, let's do the do. That doesn't sound very appetizing. Um, Let's do it. Avocados. I'm going to use a tiny knife. I think you should all know how to cut an avocado. Nothing wrong with the brown spots. Don't discriminate against your avocados or their spots. Not everybody's perfect. Be careful when you do this. Whacking with the knife is or can be a hazard. Also, when slicing through your avocado, if there's a thin peel, sometimes the knife likes to go through. Uh, So be aware. Be aware. Safety is paramount. So we have the avocado. As soon as you do this, throw lime on it. My avocado was already borderline brown, so it is of extra importance that we do this step right away before we cut. This one's been really cold, so... Get the juices flowing in there. Slicey, slicey, slicey. What's awesome about a lime versus a lemon is that it has no seeds. So easy peasy, don't need to worry about that. Just gonna squeeze this whole lime in. Okay, my forearm got a little bit of a workout there. Now we mash. And I'm mashing the avocado separately because when we add the tomatoes. We don't really want that to be mashed so much. So um, I'm going to stop um, a little bit shy of where you really want it to be because with the mixing, it'll get a little bit more mushier, mashier. I am going to do garlic, maybe. Okay. And this garlic you for sure want to be chopped up super fine because it's going in raw. If you have a micro plane, now's the time to whip it out so you don't have to be here like me. 
I get. Alright, I feel pretty good about this. It's pretty small garlic infusing into the avocado. Boom. Now, onion. This onion is not perfect. Do not throw it out. Obviously, it's only going bad right here, so I'm going to cut it out. The rest of it smells like an onion, looks just fine. So don't be afraid if your produce, produce, produce is bad. Look, just like that, all gone, all better. just in time for the waterworks to start. <laughs> so, the cilantro, finely chopped, has joined its place in our guacamole. So we're gonna give this whole thing one big mix. Let's do it. I'm gonna use the bigger bowl. Don't hesitate to get the bigger bowl or to switch it out because think of your future self, right? Like before you start, if you know it's gonna be slightly challenging. Just help yourself out. Do the right thing by getting yourself the bowl you want. So we've done that. And now we add our salt and pepper before we do our final mix. So I'm going to generously salt here. That seems pretty generous um, because avocado is pretty bleh, bland. So we'll give it the salty bit and the pepper just to make it interesting. And we mixy mix. Kind of smooth it out, but still have it be pretty. Let's try the guac chip of choice for today. Inspo the bit of guac on the chip itself. Bell pepper cilantro. Like that's guacamole. That's something I want to dip into again. Yeah, lost a chip. This is just a how-to video, right? So how to make guac, this is how you do it. How to make it yum, let's try some options. Option A, as described earlier, I'm gonna add some Greek yogurt for creaminess. Again, I've never done this, but we'll give it a try. It'll add some tanginess too, I think. Ooh, yogurt mussels. Get the film off here. I'm just gonna add like that much yolks. I'm gonna scoop in the guac to the yogurt. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more just cause I feel like it went a little too light green. So add a little bit more. And there you have it, guacamole with a creamy yogurt twist. Let's give it a try. Chip. I've never had yogurt guac, but let's see. To me, that's not guac, but it's good. I would eat it. I prefer it on a guac, but it's not bad. It's like yogurt and guac. We've done our first version, and second version, I want to try guac with some nutritional yeast and some cumin and coriander. So I'm gonna get that into my next test bowl over here. My trusty PJ's nutritional yeast. Jump in some flakes. And I'm gonna add in some cumin. And I know my thing is maximalism, but this is a small bowl, so we don't need to add too much. I'm gonna add a little bit of coriander. I'm gonna be careful because this whole thing is and now we add the guac and mix it up. I'm going to add a scoop. 
and a little more. So this is my guac with nutritional yeast, cumin, and coriander. Oh, it's guac. It just tastes a little bit more fun. <laughs> Again, I think I prefer normal guac, but if you want to have a good time, a little bit of spunk to your guac, this is the way to do it. Um, again, right? This is making, yeah. <laughs> this is so <laughs> have, have a thing. This is the only way you can describe it, Chloe. I'm telling you. I've never done this this before, but it's kind of fun to just try these things. And last but not least, the chili version. I have dried chilies here. TBH. Don't know when they're from, but they're dried. So hopefully not too bad. I think one will be enough. We'll probably dump out the seeds because um, I'm a little scared. Um, and I haven't really... Actually... You know what I think you need to do? You need to fry these first. You can't just cut them raw. Okay. Make it yum moment. I don't know what I'm doing with these dried red chilies, but I don't think you can just like throw it raw into your guac, so I'm just gonna fry them real quick in some oil, get them a little blistery, um, and then be able to hopefully cut them up. Or just leave them whole, and then maybe it'll like spice the cup. We'll see, we'll see where this inspiration flows, but we're gonna not do it just like this time. So, over to the stove. Uh, so the chilies have just fried up in a tiny bit of oil, and my thought process is we're not actually gonna throw in the red chilies into our guac, but I'm gonna add in this tiny bit of oil that um, is now infused with the red chili flavor into the cup um, and with some of the seeds too, and then mix that in with guac. So let's do it. So now we add our guacamole. And let's mix. I think that should be enough to get the chili flavor. Coolness and get the chip. Mmm, I think this might be my favorite. It's just a nice warmth at the end of the guac. Like, tastes like guac, it's at the end, it's like, hey, like I'm here, I'm present. I'm gonna go for a second dip. I really like that. So there you have it, we just did it. Made it yum three ways. As you can see, you just throw things you like into a bowl mix it up, have it with the chip you like, have it with company, good company that you like, and you're gonna have an awesome summer day. So anyways, thanks for tuning in to today's how-to app. Hit like, subscribe, tell your friend, a friend that I don't know, so maybe we can grow our viewership base. Follow me on Instagram, posts will be coming soon and regularly, hopefully, because we're here at 2.0. Anyways, that's my plug. Enjoy your guac. Enjoy your summer. Signing off.